Ever wondered how understanding the basics can pave the path to financial success? Get ready to unlock the secrets of financial accounting fundamentals. In this captivating video, we'll dive into the benefits of grasping the essential concepts that lay the foundation for your accounting journey. From accounting and business to business forms like sole proprietorship, partnership and corporation, and the role of stakeholders, customers, and users of accounting information, we've got you covered. Whether you're on YouTube, Instagram, or TikTok, hit that follow button like double tap that, share with friends, and subscribe to join our brilliant community of learners. Let's prioritize our viewers. Your learning is of utmost importance to us. Balance with like uh, cash flow uh, for the uh, the result of your transaction that you process during the, your accounting uh, cycle. And this topic uh, will be recording the uh, included any recording entry and journalizing and posting and prepare financial statement. And also at the end, we provided some uh, accounting for merchandise inventory for purchasing and selling. And these uh, courses will be the, the essential for further study financial accounting specific for financial accounting in the grade five. Okay. And uh, we can use different, for example, textbook, but in this course, we use, for example, accounting principle. This would be for the Canadian uh, student and also some um, uh, a school and maybe they provided a different uh, textbook for uh, this one. And also the, the, the course objective and the, the course uh, objective for uh, grade 11 would be at first employ the basic accounting concept and I provide a different principle and different procedure for the accounting and also you know, apply accounting information as an essential part of the decision making for uh, different organization and different activity and different operation organization. and also, the, these courses will be related to recorded financial transactions, journalizing, posting, uh, based on the implication of the Canadian General Accepted Accounting Principle, and also prepare uh, and present financial statement like uh, income statement, like uh, balance sheet and cash flow, and statement of changes in the owner equity for a different type of. Uh, uh, form of the business, as for proprietorship, partnership, and uh, provide. But uh, related to the uh, partnership and provide uh, co private cooperation, you can uh, have these courses in the grade 12. Okay, and this uh, we have the, the, the major one of the accounting the business, and this major we describe the purpose of the importance of the accounting and also identify different form of the accounting and uh, identify the user and user of the account and explain uh, why they are seeking and should show responsibility and I can show to the accounting and also identify opportunity in accounting and related to film and explain uh, the reporting and after financial statement and apply general accepted accounting principle and analyze the business transaction and using accounting equation and also prepare a uh, financial statement reflected the business transaction. At first here, this should be the purpose of the importance of, okay? At first, at first, you need to know why you need accounting and why accounting can help any uh, people who created a business and how they can understand related to their business operation, okay? At first, you know that the accounting is the information system and you know in any in information you have input and you have any data that you put and the data of your Accounting would be the result of your transaction. And then you need to identify which uh, transaction and which result of the transaction you have you need to process and how you can measure the effect of your transaction and how you can recall the effect of your transaction and your accounting system. And you journalize and you make a journal entry for any transaction and you record as a bookkeeping in your accounting system, and also you posted all of the, the result of the transaction in your uh, general ledger in your account. And also, when you record all of your transaction, you need to prepare relevant information. This should be your uh, financial statement, like income statement, like balance sheet statement of changes in your owner uh, equity, and also 
your cash flow. And also for all of these transactions, you have organization economy activity that affected your accounting element. And you prepare and you process all of the effect of your transaction and your economic activity and prepare your financial statement to help people to make a decision related business. Okay. In business, we have different form of the business. Okay. In Canada, we have three types of business: sole proprietorship, partnership, and corporation. Sole proprietorship means you start your business by yourself, just okay. We have just one owner. In partnership, you start your business with other people. Maybe with your family, your father, your mother, your sister, your brother, or maybe your wife, your friend, and your classmate. We call this one as a partnership. Another form would be a, let they have a separate legal entity as a corporation in Canada. And any type of or any form of the business have a different characteristic. Here I provided based on, for example, uh, this is the very, a separate business is uh, ended. For example, any sole proprietorship and partnership and corporation has a separate business is entity. It means you need to process all of the transactions related to this one. Also, separate legal entity uh, from the own. In the sole proprietorship and partnership, you don't have any separate legal entity from the own. But in corporation, you have a separate legal entity from the owner or the shareholder. And also limited the uh, owner liability. In the super proprietorship and partnership, uh, the owner has unlimited uh, liability. But in the corporation, no, the owner or the shareholder, they have a limited owner liability. Okay, for unlimited life. In uh, super proprietorship and partnership, you have a limited life. For example, by uh, death of the, uh, if the owner passed away and the uh, uh, the business has been closed and has been finished. In the same for the partnership as well, but the corporation no, and the share of the uh, the shareholder can be transferred to the another people. Business profit is tax in the sole proprietorship and partnership. The, the business profit is not taxable, but the corporation is taxable. It means the owner pay tax just in the sole proprietorship and partnership, but in the corporation, the owner. Uh, with the separate pay the tax and also the corporation has to pay the tax. And in the sole proprietorship and the corporation, you can have just one owner, but in the partnership, you have more than one owner. This should be different form of the business. And when you start any type of, for example, activity and provide a service or provide a different, and you can have different form of the business in Canada. And also, based on the, uh, the business goal, you have a different type of business. For example, profit organization. You create a business to make a profit, to make money for your business. For example, you created a, a mechanic workshop uh, for the, the car, this is your, or you created a, a private school to provide, for example, learning and to provide, provide uh, some teaching for the students. This is really the profit organization. Or you created a, a, for example, convenience store to sell some product to your customer. This should be your uh, profit organization. But if you have a, created a charity, for example, a food bank, or a, uh, for example, a, a non-organization profit, for example, to help uh, the in, uh, uh, help animals or to protect, for example, the nature or to protect the flower or something, it should be non-profit organization. And also you have public organization, the government organization, for example, city of Toronto is a public organization or, uh, for example, health uh, a hospital in the Canada would be a public organization or the public uh, college or public university is a public organization. Based on activity, you have different type of business. Sometimes you provide service for your customer, for example, uh, tax services, accounting services, or legal services, or health services. This should be the service business. Sometimes you provide and uh, you purchase a product or good and sell to this product to go to your customer. We call this one as a business. For example, Shopper Dark Mount or Lobla 
or a convenience store in the kind of business. Sometimes you create a manufacturing uh, business. You purchase some parts or some raw material and turn this uh, raw material and, turn, uh, and assemble the part and so create a product or good and so uh, sell uh, this product to your customer. We call this one as a uh, manufacturing company. Okay, when you start a business, you have different relationships with different people related to your business. All of the people have connected with your business, we call this one as a stakeholder. Okay, we have different stakeholders related to your business. The first one is the owner. The owner invested in the business and also they withdraw or some money from the business. This should be the owner and customer. You sell, you provide service, or you sell uh, the, the good or product to your customer and receive money from your customer. Supplier, supplier provides service or provide good or asset for your company. For example, you need hydro, and you need internet, and you need water, and you need, for example, transportation services, and you need, uh, for example, equipment. All of these items provided by another people, as we call this one as a supplier. Sometimes you can start your business by yourself. You don't need to help any from the other people. Sometimes, no. Maybe you hire another people. You hire as a receptionist, you hire as a cashier, you have a salesperson, you hire uh, as a, uh, for example, bookkeeping and your accountant. And this one we, we call as an employee. You pay salary to your employee. Sometimes, for example, you need financial as well. For example, you want to expand your business. You need more money, but you don't have enough money. Or this is that you go to the bank and get the loan. And sometimes you use line of credit, or sometimes you use mortgage from the bank. And sometimes, for example, you use credit card. All of these people will be the finance. Another stake of the government. Okay, when you start a business, you need to pay, for example, uh, income tax to the government and also a uh, based on the situation of your business and the, the, the size of business, maybe you uh, you need to charge, for example, HST or GST for your business. And for this reason, you need to pay HST tax or GST tax to the government. And it, 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 for, uh, for this reason, the, the government would be another your stakeholder. Okay? And here, uh, I provided different uh, transaction or different activity by in the stakeholder. The first one would be owner. Owner put money, okay, and bring sometimes for another asset. Look, for example, equipment, car, or building to start a business. Bring any money or any cash or poor or another type of asset we call this one as an investment. Sometimes the investment be cash investment when the owner put the cash or money to start the business. Some, we, sometimes we have non-cash investment when uh, the owner bring, for example, uh, non-cash assets like car, like equipment, like belt. And also after they start a business, sometimes the owner take out money from the business to his, uh, his or her personal use. We call this one as a retail or another form in the corporation, we call this one as a dividend. Okay, another stakeholder would be customer. We have different type of activity related to the customer. This activity and they created a lot of transactions. For example, you sell and your revenue, your sales product and you provide service. This uh, sales and this provide a service created the revenue for your business. You need to build and you need to provide invoices for your customer. They show your customer how much should be there the value of your business and how much do your uh, customer need to pay and based on what time and due date they will pay. And if they want to pay in the future, this would be a receivable for you. You will need to collect this receivable in the future. Sometimes you provide a credit credit term. For example, your customer can pay, for example, in 30 days or in 45 days, in two months, it should be a Credit term. Sometimes you provide discount term. For example, if your customer pay less than 10 days, you can pay, for example, you can give them a 10%, for example, discount. Sometimes your, uh, your customer didn't pay in the due date or in the, your credit term. This should be outstanding. And this 
control of the understanding of what is very important. Sometimes you need to calculate it, your collection period to, for your customer and how long does it take in average to collect your money from your customer. Sometimes if your customer uh, didn't pay in the due date or in the credit term, maybe you uh, charge them as a late payment charge. Another one would be related to your supplier. You purchase your service, your food, or your product, or your asset from your supplier. Sometimes you're older and your customer, your supplier need to ship this product to you. Sometimes your, uh, your supplier uh, created a purchasing term for you. For example, you need to pay in 30 days or you need to pay in, for example, the two months or something. And sometimes they created a, a payment term for you. And sometimes you you need you create it based on the different term of free on the ball, FOB shipping coin or FOB, uh, for example, destination. And who need to pay, for example, transportation costs? And uh, if you pay, for example, early your payment, maybe they provided some discount or processing discount for you. Another one would be employee. If anybody work for you, you need to pay salary or you need to pay wages. I mean, essentially, you need to process this transaction account. Sometimes for salesperson or your cashier, maybe you created some commission based on the amount of the sales they provided to your, your business, they pay or may, maybe pay 2% or 5% of the commission. Sometimes, when I say instead of the, for example, salary wage, maybe you provide some bonus or some benefit related to your uh, employee. And at the end, when you want to pay as the salary and wage um, or different benefit to your, uh, your customer, maybe you deducted some uh, employee income tax or some CPP or Kind of pension plan and your EI employee insurance, and we call this a source deduction, and you need to pay this source deduction to the government. Another one should be related to your finance. You can use different loan, different mortgage, line of credit, and use your uh, credit card uh, to, as a financing for your business. All of these items will okay, charge you interest, and you need to pay principal and also interest. Sometimes the loan. Uh, mortgage and line of credit and credit card have different calculations related to the interest and different type of the payment related to uh, any type of uh, finance. Consider you need to pay principal as a payment and also you need to pay the interest for any type of your finance. And for the government, you are the, your business relation related to the government, you have different type of the tax. You have income tax. And if you created a business, you need to pay based on the profit that provided as a business income, you need to pay income tax. And so sometimes based on the size of yourself, you need to pay sales tax, HSC tax or GST tax. And also if you have a property like land or like a building, you need to pay property tax. And also you need to pay the source deduction that you uh, deducted from your employee benefit, your employee salary, you need to pay to the, the government. And here I have the user of your accounting information. When you process all of your transactions and you keep and you record the effect of your transaction in your accounting system, you need to summarize your the effect of your transaction and provide financial statement and provide information for the people they want to make a decision related to your business. We have different two different type of uh, user related to your financial state, your accounting information, your accounting system. The, 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 we call this one as an external user or internal user. External user, the people are out of your business. Okay, you provide this business and they cannot uh, directly access to the data or the, the information in your accounting system. You need to provide this. Info. For example, if you want to get a loan uh, from your bank, this is the lender. It's a finance. They sometimes they ask you some information or some financial statement. For example, your cash flow, your income statement, your balance sheet. Sometimes the shareholder, specifically in the corporation, they they are out of your business. For example, in general meeting, you need to provide this financial statement for your shareholder. Also for the the tax or for income tax, you need to provide for your financial statement when you fill out your tax return for your government. 
sometimes you need to provide, for example, uh, audited uh, financial statement for the loan or for the government. So this is here, you need to provide this information to your external audit. Sometimes your customer ask you some statement or some information, or sometimes you, you need to sign a contract with your customer. Maybe your customer ask you some information related to your business. And also the same for your supplier. You want to sign a contract with your supplier. Supplier want to provide some credit for you based on your uh, business situation. Maybe you need to provide some information for your supplier. This group would be your external. They, they, all of these people would be out of your business and you need to provide this information. But for your internal business, no. These people is in, inside of your business. They can access, but based on the, your accounting, they need some information because accounting can provide, for example, professional information and different form of the information related to you. For example, the owner. Sometimes the owner is in the business. They ask, they can order the accountant, they provide this information. Sometimes their business have a, a different type of manager, for example, sales manager, for example, uh, human resource manager or uh, financial a manager or different type of manager, maybe different type of manager request different type of uh, information. Or sometimes you need to provide uh, to calculate, for example, commission you provide uh, for the sales staff in a funnel. Or sometimes you provide for internal auditor, they need they want to check your activity, they want to check your accuracy and anything related to your business. And also, Maybe you provide for the budget uh, officer for the large company. They prepare the, uh, the budget and they control the budget and the actual activity. They compare the actual and the budget. They need some information from the business to uh, provide this information. And here, the, uh, there are different opportunities for uh, if you want to study the accounting and how you can uh, expected each opportunity would be related to accounting when you study account. Here, you have different type of opportunity. One should be the financial. For example, in the financial uh, section, you can have different type of activity. For example, you prepare financial statement, and you prepare financial analysis, and you audit uh, financial statement, and also you match uh, the, the, the business and regulatory and uh, legislation related to the uh, business. And also, maybe you provide some budget or some planning for this, but also some the criminal investigation related to the any business. This should be the financial side. Another side would be managerial. Managerial would be the provide detailed information related to business, specific for the internal user. We have the, the, the general accounting and cost accounting related to the product costing or service costing, and also for the budgeting, provide detailed information related to the plan and uh, budget uh, for every year, and also for the internal auditing, and also for the management and uh, services that you provide consultant service for the some company. Another type would be taxation. Every year, for example, you can provide uh, tax services for, for example, the, the personal and for the business people and also for the corporation. You prepare tax return for this one, the people, and also you can help them to uh, a tax planning for the, uh, the future and how they, you can help the, uh, provide the consultant for these people for any more investigation or maybe they need your help to answer the, the CRA related to any other. And another one would be the accounting uh, related. Uh, here would be you have a different part of the activity, for example, lender or financial or consulting and analysis, and also for trader or for the manager or director. And all of these people will be connected to the accountant, and accountant provide the uh, information for all of these uh, people. Here, if you want to uh, be more professional, you need sometimes more uh, certification in accounting. For the, in Canada, we have different type of certification. Before, we have four type of uh, certification, as in, for example, CTA, CMA, CA, and CPA. But right now, all of these four type of certification merge together, and just we have 
to one type of the uh, uh, professional certification and uh, CPA. Okay, this is, I think this is the good for you and you can uh, have any questions, let me know and I can provide a more detailed information.